Mayfield couple thought they were getting their dream garage. Instead, they are now in a refund battle for thousands of dollars. This is absolutely ridiculous. My husband's waited five years to build this the garage that he wanted, and now they're giving us all this runaround. Well, they say they bought more than $16,000 worth of supplies from Menards, but say when the company sent them lumber they didn't need, it refused to give them their money back. They tell News 5 they could only receive in-store credit. So the couple turned to Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis in search of a solution. Well, Cliff and Nadine Teat bought their garage supplies from the Brook Park Menards here in the city of Cleveland, but say numerous delays and problems have left them in a dream garage refund debacle. Cliff and Nadine's dream garage is left flapping in the high winds, not yet complete. The couple said it bought all building materials for the project from Menards on August 12, $16,800 worth, producing this huge six-foot receipt. On the receipt, it clearly states refunds after 90 days must be in the form of a store credit. But the couple says there were multiple problems when their supplies were delivered in September. But how much extra lumber did they send you guys? $2,200 worth. The couple says Menards also sent them broken trusses, bundles of the wrong color shingles, and warped support beams. The company agreed to change out all bad pieces, but when they came to make the swap and pick up the $2,200 in unneeded lumber. And then the man came with the wrong truck. He came with a small box truck when he actually needed a flatbed. So we had to wait for him to come back again. The couple says all the issues were caused by Menards, pushing them outside the 90-day cash refund policy. So when they went to the store for their lumber refund. They said that they were sorry there was nothing they could do that we would have to take a store credit, and it's $2,200. Oh, it's ex extremely disappointing when you save and you plan to do a large project like this, and then you've had nothing but trouble. And we contacted Menards corporate offices in Wisconsin. It says it's now working on this case. Meanwhile, the couple says they're scheduled to meet with a manager here at this location on November 30th, hoping to work out a solution. We'll follow up. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.